or assumption cash dividends in this case. And we don't have the interest on the loan because we paid it off last time. And we still have the 5,000 interest on the long term loan. And then if we added all these up, if we added all these up, we would get to the 445,060. Uh, and then if we subtract this out, the 578, 591 minus the cash disbursements, 44560, uh, we come up to the 133,531. And of course, we don't have to pay off the loan. We're over our minimum balance of 40. So we're not going to have any loan adjustment there. And we could just pull that number down. And that's our ending balance for the month of August. That then will be, of course, the beginning balance for September. So here's the beginning balance for September. Same process. We'll go through it even a bit faster. So we're going to pull all these numbers over. This came from the same place as this. If we add these two up, we then come up with this, the 607,531. Then we're going to have the disbursements. Once again, this is going to come from the same place that we pulled this out. Just remember that you got that timing difference in terms of when we received it as opposed to when we purchased it. These are just going to be pulled over in the similar fashion. Same all the way down. We don't have the dividends this time because that's going to be a separate assumption we're going to have to make. Book problems going to have to give it to us. Real life, we're going to have to make the assumption. No interest on the short-term loan. We still have the 5000 on the long-term loan. And now we're going to assume that we had a purchase of equipment of 130000 So we're going to assume that we're going to purchase equipment in September, 130000 That 130 only represents the cash disbursement because we're talking about the cash disbursements here. So we have that item. And then if we add all these up, then we're adding all these up. We're getting the 575,691. And that's going to be a preliminary balance of 31,840. And then we're going to have an adjustment because that 31,840 is below the 40,000 minimum we want to have. Therefore, we're going to need a loan of 8,186 so that this 31,840 can come up to that minimum balance we want of 40,000. Okay, so there's all, there's our three months. If we total this up just to see what the total for the three months would be, just be careful if you do something like this. You you got to remember that we're starting off at the beginning of the three month period. So we're not adding these three up. We're saying okay, we're starting off at the forty thousand at the beginning of July, and then we're doing the total you know for the total three month period. Then we're gonna add these three up, and then if we add this plus this, we come out to the one million four ninety one seven sixty eight. And then we can add these three columns up all the way down. So we're adding these three columns up all the way down. If we sum all these up, then we come up to the 1447928. If we subtract this number minus this number, the receipts minus the disbursements, 43840. And we had the total adjustments, which is the 12 minus the 8160 uh, because we took out a 12,000. Uh, we paid off the 12,000 loan and then we took out another 12,000 loan here. So this is actually a subtraction problem. And we, and we brought this out and that brings our ending balance to the 40,000, the 43,840 minus the 3,840. So these are broken out per month. This is broken out for the total quarter.